Alright, so how's it going everybody and today we're looking at the latest leaks regarding the upcoming and mostly anticipating RTX 4060 days away from the release of it or the launch or the embargo lifting because we're like 48 hours away from the reviews and it looks pretty promising for you know what we expect at least I mean we expect to be a sub $300 GPU that provide a performance close to something like RTX 3060 Ti or 3070 because they're pretty much the same GPUs and you are getting the latest and you know uh, brand newest features being the DLSS3, the AV1 encoder and uh, I'm not sure around the AV1 encoder whether it's supported or not and yeah basically there isn't much to be said here it's okay you know this is the gpu that would replace something like um the rtx 6700 xt and uh, the rtx 3060 ti because these gpus are kind of you know trading blows with each other and it's competing directly with the brand new rx 7600 so yeah what we're looking at here is the 3d mark benchmarks and the 3d mark speedway we are looking at around 16 percent more performance over the 3060 12 gigabytes and our 60% or 58% over the 3060 8 gigabytes only. So yeah, pretty much the same percentage around the Porter Royale. And keep in mind, this is uh, actually an old driver that's not supporting the RTX 4060. So these leaked benchmarks with old drivers, once the RTX 4060 drops, we'll see better drivers that will bring out better performance in these synthetic benchmarks. So they actually don't provide the real full picture here. But when we're looking at Time Spy, for example, we're looking at around 30% percent more performance than the 3060 12 GB and fire strike we're looking at around 20 percent more performance when it comes to compared to the 360 now when you want to compare the 3d mark type spy or fire strike performance compared to the rx 7600 we are actually looking at 20 percent or 15 percent less performance how much would that actually uh you know differ in gaming i really don't know but yeah keep in mind that we are looking at around the same performance if it's actually 20 percent more performance than the 3060 12 gigabytes you know compared to the 7600 and the thing is it's actually a hard sale to make when you compare the arc 7600 uh, with the rtx 3060 12 gigs to some people because basically you are getting the inbank encoder you're getting the CUDA acceleration you're getting an extra four gigs how that would pair with the rtx 4060 you know compared to the other gpus being it's only eight gigs just like uh, the arc 7600 this is a debate that we should look at but i'm really pumped for this gpu i hope to see it for 300 dollars. i hope to see it for under 300 dollars. i feel like this is the gpu that would make a lot of sales or i think this will only make the arc 6700 xt only cheaper you know if we saw the arc 6700 xt for around i don't know 270 to 250 dollars i mean this would be a banger in my opinion and in my books i would get the 6700 xt asap you know if i saw it for 250 to 270 dollars brand new but at least the rtx 4060 is not a bad gpu at all compared to the 4060 ti and the 4070 so yeah that's been it and let me know what you think down in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one peace